When I was eight years old, my father purchased 30 new varieties of dahlias and labeled them with a wooden stake and plastic identification ribbon, and I went out and learned the names of all 30 varieties. I envisioned myself, you know, growing and selling dahlias until the day I die. It's what I love to do. Well, I grow 500 different varieties here on the farm. They range in size from less than two inches diameter, the little pom-pom type, to the large dinner plate size, well over 10 inches in diameter. They come in every color except blue, green, and brown. Growing quality dahlias here uh, comes naturally. Dahlias do well in the temperate climates. They're native to the mountains of Mexico, which means they have warm days and cool nights. And that's exactly what we have here in the Pacific Northwest. Here in the Pacific Northwest, dahlias are planted in the spring, usually around Mother's Day weekend. They begin blooming in the month of July, and dahlias are continuous blooming. As long as you keep the old blooms picked off, cut them for cut flowers, they love to be cut. They'll continue blooming until the first fall frost. The Seattle Wholesale Growers Market has increased my available market. I'm able to sell dahlias in the grocery market in Seattle. I'm able to sell dahlias to the grocery market in Portland, Oregon. And I'm able to reach many florists in the city of Seattle that I would not previous have had access to. I'm Dan Pearson, owner of Dan's Dahlias. The farm is located here in Oakville, Washington. I am also one of the founding members of the Seattle Wholesale Growers Market Cooperative in Seattle. I've been growing dahlias commercially for over 35 years. Hi, I'm Carly Donnelly. I own Rusted Base Floral Co. in Seattle, Washington. I specialize in floral design for weddings and events. And today we are at Dan's Dahlias and I'm going to design an arrangement for you guys. So today all of this product came from Seattle Wholesale Growers Market. One of the benefits to shopping seasonally and locally is that everything is fresh and cut the week that you get it. So when I'm designing, I'm constantly thinking about movement and the dimension on my arrangements. If you do a long stem, you should consciously think about, which I would consider this a long stem. The next stem would be to do a shorter one. So you're constantly going from high to low and in and out. This is Lysianthus, which is another one of my favorites. Um, it's really easy to push the petals back and then you get that cool center, which then this dark center, I feel like can also like bridge these colors together. We have so many different shapes, like in the ball dahlias and water lily dahlias. There's some bigger like dinner plate ones over there too that I'll design with, but that's one of the best parts about them. I probably should have done this dahlia at the beginning because it's massive, but I'm gonna try it. <laughs> I have no idea what this is called, but it is it's insane to cut it from the field because I had to have it. When I'm designing or just shopping and putting my order together in general, that's why I use so much variety. It's just so that everything kind of like smooths together and transitions. So all these dahlias have orange and yellow tones in them. So these are all kind of talking to each other in the same like color family. So everything's bouncing off of one another. Just thinking about contributing to the carbon footprint of that, I would rather be able to talk to farmers and know that I'm supporting them and see them at the market and hug them. To me, that's just a little bit more in line with my moral compass on how I want to source stuff. 